Hey everyone, this is Brian with the Aero Teardrops, and we're here on this beautiful fall day in Wilsonville, Oregon, to tell you about our latest uh, Burnside build. It's a special build, uh, lots of great options on it. It's a really decked out Burnside. It's a great example of what you can do with this model because it starts you know, as a fairly basic model um, at the base, and then you can add all kinds of uh, really cool accessories to it, like the spare side-mounted spare tire. And uh, this uh, trailer has our upgraded fuel wheels. Um, we're going with a new uh, tire for the fuel wheel package now. It's a Pathfinder All-Terrain. Uh, it's a great, great tire for this uh, weight of trailer. Uh, really nice uh, tread pattern on it. It's um, all season rated. You know, get the trailer uh, where you need it to go, any kind of weather. Um, oh yeah, and this trailer, let me tell you about this option here is our, uh, our rock slider option. So this right here is um, an option that we can add to any of our teardrops. Uh, it's a rock slider um, package that's welded to the frame and connects here to the, to the fender. So you've got a nice solid um, barrier of protection there on the side of the trailer against uh, you know hitting rocks or hitting anything out on the on the trail or on the way to your campsite. Really cool thing about this too is it also gives you an area to step along this whole um, side of the trailer. So if you need to get up onto the roof rack, um, gives you an easier place to to step up on and uh, reach your accessories up there. Anything you have packed up on the top. So let's talk about this uh, cool feature that we have on this Burnside trailer. It's a uh, Delta Wing 270 degree awning by Ironman 4x4. Uh, it's a really cool option to have because it gives you, you know, 270 degrees of coverage outside the trailer. Uh, you know, provides great shade in the sun, rain protection, just uh, all sorts of weather. You've got this nice 270 degree um, protection around the trailer. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how that operates right now. It's really simple. Uh, mounted here on the roof, you've got this cover that's over the awning and it uh, just un undo the zipper here. And you're gonna flip that cover back, expose the awning. The awning is uh, strapped, held here with these Velcro straps. So you'll undo these Velcro straps here, and that's gonna allow the fabric to hang. So now you've got that done. You're gonna roll the awning around the back of the trailer, then you're gonna use this retention strap to hold the tension on the, uh, on the um, awning to the roof rack. So we'll do that right now. We're gonna walk this around This is a new awning, so it's just fresh from the factory. Fabric kind of sticks together a little bit, but not bad. So this, and this is a self-supporting awning. So this awning um, doesn't necessarily need the legs in order to, to operate. So once you get this pulled out, you're gonna take this re retention strap. Let's see if I can do this with one hand here. Hook it to this loop here on the awning. Then you're gonna take the other end over to the roof rack. And you can hook it anywhere here on the roof rack that's convenient. And you're simply just gonna pull this strap until the awning is tight. And there you go. So after you use this a few times, it'll stretch a little bit more, it'll pull around a little bit more each time, but you'll you'll be able to to uh, keep this nice and tight. Um, so you've got it self-supporting, ready to use that quick. And then if you need a little bit more support in the wind and when it's raining to help support the weight, there are legs that you can drop down. Also gain a little bit more clearance underneath the rack. So these just pull out, twist to tighten it. And there's a leg at each, at each um, support. So you can tie everything down, you can tilt it to drain water off. So yeah, it's just a really great option. And covers you back here in the galley, which is nice. So when you have the galley open, 
you have coverage um, for doing all of your cooking and hanging out back here, which is really cool. And then to put the awning away, you just repeat the process, undo the tension strap, roll it back in, roll the fabric up, tuck it all into the, and uh, wrap the Velcro straps around it. Zip the cover up and you're, uh, you're good to go. So over here on this side of the trailer, um, we have uh, our power connections. So um, this inlet here is our shore power inlet, 120 volts. When you're um, at a campsite with electrical power or you're charging it at home, this is where you would connect it. Next to it is the solar plug. So this is where you would plug in your um, portable solar panel. There's a lot of different options um, that we can do on the tongue of our trailers. Um, anywhere from just the plain tongue, you know, where you've got just the A-frame. Um, you know, you can add the basket like what we've got right here. This uh, burn site has a lock and roll full articulating hitch. So this is a really durable, I mean, really safe uh, manner of uh, coupling the trailer to the tow vehicle. You've got full 180 degree horizontal swing. And then the vehicle side has 360 degrees of vertical rotation. It's also a very uh, secure way to connect to the tow vehicle. There's two big clamps um, that go over this dog bone, what we call it, that pins in. There's no way for it to come unhooked while you're towing the trailer. Uh, so if you're going over some really bad bumps, things like that, and you're doing a lot of weight transfer between the two, they're gonna stay connected solidly. Uh, this is our standard battery, where we locate the battery on, on the tr most of our trailers. Uh, this particular trailer has just uh, one of our standard Group 24, it's an 80 amp hour deep cycle uh, RV battery. And then, you know, you can also do a box up here if you'd like, you can do the extended tongue option that we have, you can do cages and um, a box on the front. There's just lots of different ways you can outfit this trailer to, uh, to fit your needs. Also here on the front is the uh, diamond plate rock guard that we offer. Two colors in that, we've Got this has the black. We've got a silver option as well. And this nice yellow powder coated sides, a really great option to do for your trailer. I think we have 10 colors or so you can do on the side of your trailer other than the standard uh, clear anodized that we have. And that just about covers this section of the trailer. Let's go around back and talk about the, uh, the galley area. So back here, we've got rear stabilizer jacks. They crank down, um, great way to keep the trailer stable while you're camping. If you end up putting a rooftop tent on the trailer, that's a great way to keep the trailer nice and stable if you've got kids sleeping above you or friends. Um, we'll open the galley here. So we've got a double door here for the galley. There's retaining clips on either side to hold the doors open. So if the wind gets blowing, things like that, the doors aren't gonna get in your way. So we'll clip both doors open. We'll talk about the, uh, the galley. Yeah, it's just nice solid clips. So this galley, uh, the galley on this particular burn site is pretty much our standard galley for this trailer. Um, there's a lot of possibility of what can happen down here underneath the counter. So the trailer comes with this nice open area and it leaves, uh, it leaves it open to, you know, if anyone wants to do a DIY project down here and add their own shelving, add their own accessories, you can do all that. But we also offer a lot of our own options as well. You can do slide out, um, a cooler slide out. You can do the refrigerator on a slide if you want. We've got a drawer stack option down here that we can do, um, some stove options. So there's a lot of cool things we can do under this galley or we can just leave it blank and then leave it to, to the customer to, to fill in themselves. Really great cabinet space above the counter. This countertop is about 16 inches deep or so. Nice prep surface. It's a great height, um, pretty much a standard cabinet or a countertop height. So really easy for prepping meals, um, 
and just using in general. Two cabinets are above the counter here. And we've got these uh, nice locking latches. So you'll pop the button out and you'll give it a turn and that opens the cabinet. So some nice big cabinet storage for dry goods, for dishes, cookware, you name it. It's the depth of a standard um, cabinet at home. So a standard dinner plate's gonna fit in here, which is really nice. That's what I like about our galley cabinets. I like to take standard dinner plates with me when I'm camping, you know, food is, uh, Food is a big part of my uh, big deal in my camping trip, so I want to be able to have some nice uh, plates to eat on. So, <laughs> so anyways, these you know are retained clothes. You're not going to have any of your items spilling out while you're you know bouncing down the road. The buttons uh, go flush just for a nice sleek look. And then to the left of the storage, we've got the electrical cabinet. So this is a power center that houses an auto detecting battery charger. Uh, so any battery you put in here, uh, be it lead acid, AGM, um, lithium, this converter is going to detect that and switch charging modes accordingly. That's a really nice, uh, nice option that we have. Above this is the uh, switch panel. So you've got your interior light. It's a little hard to see on this sunny day, but there's a, an overhead light here in the ceiling to light this counter space. And then there's a little uh, task light out here on the back that you can switch on as well. It's a little LED light, just to give you a little bit of light out here behind the trailer at night. And it's not overpowering for your eyes, so you're not gonna blind yourself while you're, you know, if you've got a little table out here and you're prepping food or something like that. There's a voltmeter as well, and a 12 volt power port. It's got 10 amps of uh, capacity on the power port, so you can plug little uh, kitchen and appliances into it if you've got some 12 volt appliances or something like that and then 120 volt outlet next to that if you're plugged into shore power if you're on a generator or if you've got an inverter set up um, you can run these 120 volt plugs while you're out camping nice thing to have we've had people use crock pots and stuff like that on their camping trips and uh, it's kind of handy to have yeah so that just about covers the exterior of the trailer and the and the galley. Uh, one more thing I could point out is that this trailer has our optional rhino rack um, rack system on it. And this is uh, when you order your trailer, you can specify that you want the rack and all these other options that we've talked about. And I think we'll move in move inside for a tour of the cabin of this Burnside. So let's talk about the cabin of this Burnside. So. Um, Basically, this cabin is pretty standard uh, with what you would get at the base price, um, you know, which is uh, just over $14,000. Uh, I think the only option inside this trailer is our interior table option. And uh, we can go through how that works uh, here in a minute, but let's talk about this cabin. So you've got 83 inches from head to toe. Uh, the mattress is 80 inches. So you've got a couple of inches to spare, you know, either ahead of the bed or at the foot of the bed. The sleeping area, or the the wall-to-wall uh, -wall dimensions in here is 58 and a half, and the mattress is 55 inches wide. So it fits the space nicely. It's not too tight to the walls. You've got some space to stick things, you know, beside it once it's folded out. Um, yeah. So inside the cabin, we've got LED uh, interior lighting around the roof vent. Everything has a switch right here. So you've, the middle switch is your interior light. And then you've got a switch for each porch light. So there's a porch light on either side of the trailer outside um, the doors. And uh, that'll allow you to light your way if you have to get up at night, uh, if you need a little bit of security or anything like that. So all these switches control that. <clears throat> In the corners here, at the head of the bed, we have these corner shelves. And these are great for, um, you know, setting your cell phone here or your glasses or wallet. There's a USB port below that to charge your devices. We've got a folding cup holder here on either side. These are great for a water bottle at night. I like to make my coffee in the morning and stick my mug here and crawl back, you know, for a little bit of warmth. Crawl back in bed. <laughs> We've got um, reading lights on each corner as well. And these are all standard items that we include now on the burn side, which we didn't originally. But now the burn side, you know, we've decided that the burn side needed a few more options. So, um, so this is everything you get when you order a burn side with the exception of the, the um, interior table that is an option. So 
here above the foot of the bed is the interior cabinet. Again, we've got these really nice turning latches. It's a nice deep cabinet. It's about 12 inches deep, it spans the whole width of the trailer. This is an open cabinet that you can access through three different doors. If you did a bunk option, the bunk would hinge um, off of this shelf here. You'd have a folding bunk. Uh, if you did the TV option, then that would be mounted in the middle there and you would have access to the cabinet with the two um, outer outboard doors there. Under the cabinet is a, another 120 volt outlet that's live when you're connected to uh, 120 volts of power via the shore power plug or a generator. We've got these nice um, side windows here. They open and close. Uh, all the windows in the trailer have a screen so you can open them up and get fresh air in the trailer and keep the bugs out. Even the roof um, vent has a screen in it too. So um, everything's nice and screened. It'll keep all the, all the pests out when you're uh, you know, in a buggy area at night. And then, um, yeah, I think that about covers it. I, we can go through how this uh, interior table works. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much the inside of the burn side really light and airy in here it feels really spacious when you're inside um, for the size of the trailer you know it's it's pretty comfortable and uh, we're really pleased with how they how they turned out but uh, we'll run you through doing the the table here first we're going to flop the mattress out into the sleeping position so this mattress is really easy to flop out it's all connected together there's a velcro strap over there oh there it goes it let go so it's a four inch thick mattress really nice comfortable foam you can remove the cover off of it and clean it if you need to so now it's in the sleeping position we're going to fold it up into the couch tumbles really nice and easily slide it up to the head of the bed this is the tabletop for the table option which also acts as the lid to the under floor storage so you've got under floor storage here that's six inches deep you can put wheel chocks in here. I like to put my beginning of trip and end of trip stuff in here. So wheel chocks, my shore power plug, things that I just need right at the beginning of the of the trip go in here. Or if you need to kind of hide something too, you know, it's a good place. But uh, we'll go through how this uh, table operates and um, then we'll collapse it. You know, you can see how easy it is. We've got the table leg down here and the underfloor storage. That just simply presses into both of these pedestals like so. And you've got your interior table option. I'll show you how to get in and out of this. It's pretty simple. It's like getting in and out of a car. I'm 5'11", 205 pounds. Kind of gives you an idea of what size adult can get in and out of here. So I'm just going to put a foot in like I'm getting in a car. And I'm just going to scoot in. And there we have it. We're here inside the, the cabin at the interior table. It's a great um, place to sit if you've got a rainstorm. If it's cold, if it's got a lot of if you've got a lot of wind while you're camping, this is a nice place to sit and escape for a while. Great place to work on a laptop if you need to do that. Play a board game, eat a meal, you name it. That's what we've used it for. So so yeah, it's it's a great option to have, and it simply just pops back in the floor when you're done and and ready to, to sleep for the night. I'm gonna walk through how to uh, lower the table top back in the floor and convert the bed back, just so you can see how that works. So this leg just pops out of the pedestal. You gotta kind of be careful sometimes cause it'll go, it'll go flying off on you, but grab the leg, put it back in the under floor storage here. And this tabletop just drops into the floor. And now you're ready to tumble the mattress back out again. There you go. Really great price for what you're getting. It's on timber and axles. You've got 31 inch all-terrain tires, lots of bells and whistles. It's a great trailer. Give us a ring on our shop phone. It's 503-597-8714. Go to our website, inquire there at aeroteardrops.com. You can always shoot us an email as well at sales at aeroteardrops.com. We'll get right back to you. And uh, yeah, we hope to hear from you. Thanks.